Good morning and welcome to day nine of your 31 day challenge. I hope you're all well. Uh, so please join me on the mat. Um, we're not going to do any breathing practice today. But I, what I want you to do is I want you to be aware of your breath throughout the practice. Um, so when we're moving, when I say inhale, exhale, try and breathe when we're moving. But if you're new to yoga, don't worry too much. Um, focus more about the movements and where you're going rather than your breath or you might get confused. And then when we're holding poses, so at the end we're going to do a couple of relaxation poses. Um, when you're holding them, that's your time when I really want you to connect with your breath and focus on your breath and relax your body as much as you can. Okay, so please join me straight away into our cat-cow position. So we're going to warm up through the spine first. So we're dropping the tummy as we inhale, rounding the back as we exhale. You should all know where we're going now. Inhale up, exhale, drop the head. So remember to connect with your body with your breath. We're going to do one more. And then come back to your tabletop position. We're going to send the right leg out and push it into the ground. And then we're just going to really push it into the ground and then take a small lean forward and back. So just warming the rest. But also when we're coming back, really push into that foot. So again, a bit of a hamstring stretch and a calf stretch as well as the ankle. So it's a small motion through the wrists. And make your next one your last one. And change sides. So left leg out, push the toe into the floor. Small movement through the shoulders and the wrists. Really push that heel down as you come back. So getting a lovely stretch in the, in the calf. You'll feel a bit in your hamstrings as well if you're tight in your hamstrings, but mainly your calf. Okay, and then release the foot. We're going to bring the right leg back, raise it up off of the floor, lengthen the leg, and point the toe away from you. And now bend the knee and bring the, the foot up to the sky. And now open the hip to your uh, left side. Just a small opening. Bring it back down and then open it again. Okay, bring the, the knee back down. Let's change sides. So left leg back. Push the leg into the floor, the foot into the floor. Okay, but the words jumbled today. And then bend the knee, bring the foot up. And then now open out towards your right side. So just a gentle hip opener. Bring the knee back in and go again. And come back to the center. This time we step the right leg forward. Push the left knee back. Bring the hands to the hips. Drop your hip, raise your torso and look up. And now if you can, tilt your pelvis. So you want to uh, push your hips forward and tuck your bum under. That's how we tilt the pelvis. So we push into our position, then we tilt our pelvis. Oof, and we should feel a really big stretch in the front of the hip or the glutes. Depends on your body as to where you're feeling. Okay, and now slowly release. Straighten the front leg, push the bum back towards the heels. Straighten that front leg, use your hands to support you. And then drop your head towards your knee. Just take a couple of breaths. And then slowly come back forward. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg forward. Push the right knee back. Bring your hands to your hips, drop 
your hips, raise your torso, look up and tilt your pelvis. The shoulders should be back. slowly bring the hands back down to the floor and then push your bum back towards your heels and straighten the left leg and then drop your head towards your knees and slowly bring yourself back forward step your left leg back step your right leg back forward this time I'm going to bring the left hand to the inside of the right foot. Open up the right hand to the sky. Open your chest and twist out to the right side. If you want more of a stretch, you can bring your hand behind your back and wrap it around your left hip and then open the shoulder and chest further. We want to try and make sure the knee doesn't pop out, so really keep it strong and keep it in here. And slowly release, step back, change sides. So right hand to the inside of the left foot, reach the left hand up to the sky, big reach. And then if we want to tuck the hand, wrap it around, or just stay where you are. And then slowly release the hands. We're going to step back onto our knees and prepare for our downward facing dog plank and our three legged dog combo. If you've been practicing yoga for a while, when I go into three legged dog and we stack and open the hips, you can come over into wild fin if you want to. For those of you who have done it, you'll know where to go. For those of you who haven't done it, just stay with me and stay in the three-legged dog position with our hips open. Okay, so we're going to tuck our toes and push our hips up to the sky into downward facing dog. We're going to lengthen the head and the spine and push your heels down towards the floor and push your bum up to the sky. Your belly's coming out again. Oh dear. One day I'll get some trousers that fit me. <laughs> okay, come forward into your high plank position, bring the knees down, lower the chest and chin, and now push straight back into your plank position, and then push back into your downward face dog position, and now send the right leg up for three legged dog. You may want to bring the left foot in slightly, just to keep you a bit more stable. We send the right leg up, and we drop the head and chest further, and try and keep the leg straight. And then now we're going to bend the knee and stack the hips. So a nice big opening in the hips. Try and keep the head and chest towards the floor, even mine tends to drift up a little bit. And then now swing your right leg all the way forward in between your hands and come up into a high lunge position or onto knees. Your choice. Go wherever you go, want to go for how you feel this morning. And then now bring the hands behind the back, squeeze them tight, pull the shoulders down, push the chest out and look up. Stay nice and strong and balanced. Okay, bring the knee down, release the hands, bring them back down to the floor, step back onto your knees. We're going to tuck the toes, push into downward facing dog. Bring your weight forward into a high plank position. Bring the knees down, lower the chest and chin to the floor, but keep the bum in the air. And now push through the wrist, come back into your high plank position. And then push back into your downward facing dog position. Bring the right foot in slightly if you need to. Inhale, raise your left leg up to the sky for three-legged dog. Bend the knees and stack the hips or come to wild thing if you want to. Head and chest towards the floor. And 
and slowly inhale, step your left leg all the way forward in between your hands. Drop your right knee down or come straight into your high lunge. And stay here, reach the arms up. And release your hands behind your back. Squeeze them together, pull your shoulders back, push your chest out. Release the hands, bring the knee down, step back into our knee and hand flat top position. I'm going to lengthen the left leg and right arm out, squeeze them tight and squeeze the tummy tight into the back. Keep the head facing down, lengthen through the leg, really send it away and reach the arm out as far as you can. So imagine someone stretching you out. And slowly change sides. Reach out the right leg, left arm. Big, big stretch. Like we do on the floor, where we take a big stretch out. Imagine someone's pulling. Big, big, big stretch and release. Just come into child's pose for a second. Take a couple of breaths here. And then slowly roll onto your back. We're going to bring the right foot to the left knee. Place the hands out along the body. Keep both legs as they are, but let the body fall over to the left side. And look down the right arm. And as you stay here in our last pose, I will give you today's affirmation. Once I've caught my breath. <laughs> Today's affirmation is I forgive my past self and I will be free moving into the future. Now this can mean whatever you want it to mean, but our intentions and my intentions of giving you this affirmation are for you to let go of the past decisions, judgments, or things that you may have done that you have seen yourself seat saw yourself as failed at and this can be diets so maybe you've done so many diets through your life and you see them as a, a failure and you failed uh, this can be job decisions can be family decisions life decisions anything I want you to let them go don't see yourself as a failure forgive yourself for the decisions you've made and the choices you've made and then now work on being a fresh new, not a person, but working on a fresh new start of being positive. Okay, we're going to change sides. Release the right foot, take the left foot to the right knee and let the legs fall out to the right side and look down your left arm. So yeah, what I was saying is don't let it be a matter of you want to be a brand new person. It's more about you just forgiving yourself, just Stop being so hard on yourself, maybe let things go, you may be holding on to a few things, looking back in the past too much, um, and I think we're all guilty of that, um, I am myself especially, um, in all sorts of areas in life, um, and I'm also trying to work on forgiving myself and letting go of things, and just moving forward and being free moving forward. So allow that affirmation to just stay with you through today and through any other days and just allow it to to maybe take you where you want to take it. It doesn't have to be what I've said, it can be whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to take a couple more breaths here. And then slowly come into the center bring the knees into the chest grab the knees and just rock from side to side thank you so much for joining me in today's practice and I hope you all have an amazing day 
Make the most of the day, smile, laugh, joke, and just do what makes you happy. And I'll see you all tomorrow.